This is a very interesting mahogany campaign chest from around about 1840 in date. And it's interesting for its maker, Edward Johnson of 155 Leadenhall Street, London. We'll get to him a little bit um, later, but let's just talk you through the, uh, the chest. It's a two-part campaign chest, as you can see with a split here. The top section is a little bit uh, lower in height than the bottom section. The feet um, were made to be removable. They are now glue, glued in. Someone has done that. It has two lugs to locate it, one on either side rather than four. It's got brass corners to the top edges and at the back on the top section, but only at the front um, at the bottom of the top and the top and bottom of the bottom sections. The handle is very interesting. It's an unusual shape for a piece of campaign furniture, a chest. It's a handle which we more typically see on boxes of the period and a little bit earlier. So that's quite a nice feature. So Edward Johnson. Um, we can't really talk about Edward Johnson without talking about the Merriman family of trunk and camp equipage makers who started in the um, 18th century. And in fact, uh, two of uh, George Washington's officers in the Continental Army are, are known to have had trunks made by Merriman. So let's pull out um, one of the drawers and show you that Edward Johnson's label to the inside. Each drawer has got a label inside it. This one's not very legible, obviously. We'll pull out another one, but uh, just to show you that, let's move in a little bit so you can have a really good look at it and let's give you some history on Edward Johnson and the connection to Merriman. Well, Edward Johnson's history is related to that of George Frederick Merriman and his wife, Anne. George was born in 1785 and was uh, 23 years older than Edward Johnson. Um, his father, Mer Merriman's father, was either John or Thomas, and they were both trunk makers before him in the 18th century. Now, the first connection is the address, 155 Leadenhall Street, London. Now, George died in 1830, but it looks like his widow, Anne, and perhaps her son, continued the business. Um, now, in 1836, Edward Johnson is listed at being at 155 Leadenhall Street. And this is the same year that Anne Merriman moved the business out of the same address to 97 Leadenhall Street and also to an address in Piccadilly. So first of all, you've got the same premises, um, one moving out, one moving in. Now, in 1837, Anne was declared bankrupt um, only a year later, and her premises and workshops materials were auctioned off. And a few months after that, her stock was also auctioned off. Merriman had uh, noted on their labels a number of patents for their metallic bedsteads, ship sofas, and swing cots. And by 1839, Edward Johnson was also advertising very similar patented items. And in 1840, he even goes so far as to describe his company in adverts as late Merriman. So that's an obvious connection between the two. Um, but the exact connection is a little bit sketchy and something that we've got to uh, take a guess at. Um, 
Now, it can be read in a few different ways. Eva Johnson had originally been a part of Mary Moon's business and felt that he had the rights to the patents and so took them up after Anne had gone bankrupt and the Merriman business had finished. Or perhaps he had taken on or bought the rights from Anne Merriman when she closed the business. It's also possible that you know he was an apprentice at the Merriman's before he started off in business or he had married into the family somehow and uh, took over the patents in that way. Another um, option is that possibly he just uh, saw the opportunity to claim the patents, associate his business with the far better known name of Merriman, simply through the fact that he was in premises that they had once owned. Uh, at this stage, we're not sure of the exact connection, but it's very intriguing. So how do we get to the date of circa 1840 for this chest? Well, there's obvious clues on the label. We know that uh, Johnson didn't move into 155 Leadenhall Street until 1836. So it can't be before that date. But we also know that in 1843, um, he moved out to German Street. So that gives us a parameter. But actually, we can get even tighter than that. We can date it to uh, not before 1838. So that gives us a five-year time span between 1838 and 1843. And the reason that we can narrow it down a little bit more is because on the label, you might not have noticed, and perhaps if you've got the time, go back and have a look. But if you zoom in, the printer's details, um, about two thirds of the way up on the right of Row Kentish and Co, is faintly marked. And we know that they weren't active in business until 1838. So uh, their dates and the fact that uh, Edward Johnson moved in 1843 gives us a five-year time span, um, 1838 to 1843. So circa 1840, uh, in the middle, um, which I mean, we always love it when we can date something um, as accurately as that. It's just, you know, it's, it's fantastic. We always have a gut feeling on the date of things, going from the handles, the locks, the stylistic qualities of the chest, etc., etc. But when you've got information like that, um, for us, that's gold. But what's even more interesting about this chest is that um, Edward Johnson is a known maker. The Merrimans were known makers, um, very well established makers. Um, but we, although we knew of the maker, have never had or even seen a piece of furniture by him with one of his labels on. We may have had bits by him in the past and just not known it was his. But the fact that he's put a label on every single drawer suggests to me that, you know, he was um, quite keen, but people knew about his work. Um, so I would imagine most of his things if not all of his things, he was uh, quite careful to label. So another little bit of uh, history um, uh, on campaign furniture makers and, uh, and what they are up to. And a good looking, well made mahogany campaign chest with an interesting handle by an equally interesting maker. So made in mahogany and uh, circa 1840, made by Edward Johnson of 155 Leadenhall Street, London.